Hello everyone. In this video, we demonstrate how to use the Pico BT test fixture to test the Antminer S19 hash board. Same as testing the S17E hash board. When we test the S19 hash board, we need to use 12 volts DC PSU to power the test fixture. And also need to use an adjustable voltage PSU to power the hash board and set its output voltage to 15 volts. Connect the cable of the hash board, and connect the positive and negative poles of the voltage regulating PSU to the positive and negative poles of the hash board. Then select the hash board S19 model on the test fixture, and press the white button to enter the test interface. This is the PIC toggle button. If you choose PC0, the RST signal stays low level at 0 volt in the hash board. If you choose PC1, the RST signal stays high level at 1.8 volts in the hash board. Usually we choose PIC mode. This is the selection button for the number of tests. Select 1. The test fixture will only test once. Select 999. The test fixture will repeat the test continuously, which is beneficial for us to test the relevant voltages. This is the selection button of the test mode. You can choose to test the ASIC chip or the temperature sensing circuit. This is the PSU confirmation button. When we use the miners all-in-one PSU to power the hash board, we need to press this button and connect the PSU regulate voltage cable here. Since we are using a adjustable voltage PSU to power the hash board, there is no need to use this button. Now we start to demonstrate the test method. Press the white test button. And the screen of the test fixture will display 76, indicating that 76 ASIC chips have been found. The number of the temperature sensor chip and the corresponding temperature are displayed here. The bottom row shows the version information of the PIC chip. Next, I will show you how to test the RI signal of the S19 hash board. When testing the RI signal, we need to select the 999 mode and connect the cable to the test fixture. Now press the white button to start the test. When the number here on the screen keeps increasing, it means that the fixture is testing the hash board repeatedly, and then we can test the RI signal. In order for friends to see the RI signal test point more clearly, we first remove the heat sink on the S19 hash board. Okay, now to test the RI signal. Let's take measuring the RI signal of this chip as an example. Oh, sorry, there is a layer of insulating glue on the S19 hash board. We need to tear it off to connect the negative pole of the chip accurately. Then connect the oscilloscope probe to the RI signal test point and place the clip on the negative pole. It can be seen that the number 68 is displayed on the right side of the test fixture screen indicating that the RI signal transmitted back from chip 76 to chip 9 is normal. If the number shows 71, we will test backward according to the transmission direction of RI, until we find the chip with abnormal RI signal. Well, that's how the Pico BT test fixture tests the Antminer S19 hash board. Thank you all.